Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing? Let me answer. So the first difference in terms of execution. In manual testing, a real person who is sitting before the computer machine has to perform the testing in a manual way. Okay, by using eyes and hands of the person, the person sitting before the computer will perform the testing. Whereas in automation testing, on behalf of the person, an automation tool is going to perform the testing. Okay, for example, in case of manual testing, let's say I am the person, I am the real person who is sitting before my laptop. Okay, and uh, what I will do here is, for example, I have to test one such functionality of an application. So I'll open the application, okay, in the browser like this. Once I open the application URL in the browser, I have to test the search functionality. So manually I opened the browser. Okay. With my hands, I just uh, took my mouse and, you know, I clicked on this browser and browser got opened in that I selected this uh, address part and I typed the address manually with my hands. I, on the keyboard, I typed the, this URL of the uh, URL of the website and then I pressed enter and then I got landed on the home page. Everything is being done manually. No tool is being used in this uh, case of testing. Now I'll click inside the search box field with my mouse, okay, manually I'm doing that. And here I'll be typing some text like HP and then I'll be moving my mouse manually onto the search button, click on the search button using my mouse. And after that, with my eyes, I'm checking whether this particular product, okay, if I am searching for HP, whether the HP related product got displayed in the search results with my eyes, I'm confirming, okay. Here, a real person is sitting before the computer like me and performing this kind of testing, okay, to see whether, okay, the search functionality is working fine or not. This is manual testing. Same thing, how to do with the automation testing. In automation testing, the real person will not be performing the testing. Rather, an automation tool on behalf of the tester will be performing the testing. So, for example, here, the automation tool I am using is Selenium automation tool in this case. Uh, let me check whether we have the Selenium library added here. Yeah, it is there already. Otherwise, you will not get the statements, right? Fine, okay, no problem. You see, in automation testing, with the help of Selenium tool, what the software tester has done is uh, the software tester has written some automation code here using some Selenium, for example, say Selenium tool. This is all the Selenium code. Okay. Now, uh, the real uh, the real person is not performing the testing. How the automation tool can perform the testing? So when the person clicks on this run button, it will not do anything else. Okay. Just click on the run button and see what will happen. Automatically, the browser will launch. Automatically, the browser will maximize in a while. Automatically, the URL will be entered into the browser address. You see, everything is happening automatically. Automatically, the HP text got typed and uh, the button got clicked and uh, the browser got closed, okay? Even the verification is also done to see whether this particular product got displayed in the search results or not, okay? So you see, the test got passed. It's working fine, okay? So this is how the automation tool can perform the testing. So this is the main difference in terms of execution, right? In manual testing, a real person has to sit before the computer and manually perform the testing without using the tools. Whereas in automation testing, an automation tool on behalf of the tester will be performing the testing. So the second uh, difference in terms of speed is uh, which is faster, manual testing or automation testing? Obviously, automation testing is faster because al already all the instructions are given to the tool. Tool will simply follow the instructions and uh, complete the automation. Okay, complete the uh, checking of the test in a faster way because all the instructions are there. But as a human being. We have to load a lot of things in our brain and, you know, think and then perform the activities, right? Okay, I need to click on the search button. You'll get that into your brain. It will take, it will be a bit delay. But compared to the tool, tool already instructions are there. Just click on that. It's like, you know, you have a calculator with you. And without calculator, if I ask you to add uh, a, a two big numbers, it will take some time for you, right, manually. The same thing if you if you do with the help of a, if I give you a calculator and ask you to calculate two big numbers, you can do it in less, less time. So the speed is ultimately uh, good in automation, okay, than manual. Then accuracy. You see, sometimes human beings are prone to mistakes, okay? Sometimes uh, humans will make mistakes. That's common, okay? Everyone will do mistakes in our day-to-day -day life. So there's a possibility that if you are performing manual testing on a particular day, you may be doing some mistake and you will get some different, uh, I mean, uh, wrong output, okay? Uh, you will do testing uh, inaccurately and you will get uh, inaccurate results, okay? You will treat something which is passing as failing or something which is failing as passing, whatever it is. But tool is not like that because it follows the instructions carefully, okay? Whatever the instructions you have written in that automation script, right? Same instructions, the automation tool will follow while running the test and there is a 
uh, low possibility or zero possibility for errors. Okay, but uh, manually there's a possibility humans will make mistakes and they they are prone to errors. That's why accuracy is more in automation only. Okay, and in case of cost, you know if you have less time, okay, if less time is given, I mean maybe the project will finish in six months. Maybe manually is a good idea in this case because the cost investment is we have to do a lot of investment for automation. Uh, you have to recruit from extra people and you know they have to keep on writing some automation scripts or existing testers have to spend more time in writing the automation scripts whatever that may be so initially the automation cost will be high for the projects which uh, are not uh, taking more than six months to complete there is no need of automation i feel because if you are investing so much of energy in writing the automation script for a project which is going to finish up in six months okay you'll not get return on investment okay the fruits will come later initially it will be slow but uh, later after one year or two year, right, you will slowly start getting the fruits of automation, okay? Because uh, regression, uh, automating the regression suit, uh, which is a big, uh, containing a lot of automation scripts, right? Uh, okay, that will definitely give you fruits on the long run. But in short term, the cost is, um, in short term, cost is more for automation and uh, less for manual. But in long term, the return on invest investment is good for automation, okay? Automation will give you fruits in the long term, okay? So you have to deal, okay? If you are working on a project, uh, which is a long-term project and uh, it's going to be there for, you know, two, three, four, five years, the more the timeline is there, more the uh, benefit, cost benefit you will get in uh, automation, okay? Written because of the return on investment where it automates a lot of test cases and, uh, yeah, you know, automation will almost test everything for you and you have to just use the intuition to test the remaining stuff, okay? That's where the return on investment is high in uh, automation for long-term projects. Then coming to the coverage, coverage is high in automation itself because manually, if I ask you to test 100 test cases on a particular day, you start from the morning and in the, by the end of the day, you may not be able to complete 100 test cases also. Okay. As a human being, we have to spend a lot of time, but automation is not like our human beings, like it can work day and night. It can run the scripts parallelly. A lot of things are possible because of which, you know, uh, it can cover a lot of tests. Okay. It can verify a lot of tests when compared to human beings and, uh, not only one time, but good number of times. Okay. So that's the coverage benefit is also there for automation. Flexibility. Flexibility is less in automation because, because you are not giving the fle flexibility for the automation tool to think, right? It's not AI tools or something like that. Automation tool will just follow the instructions. Okay. These are the instructions given. I have to follow. That's it. You, uh, it's not thinking like human beings think, right? Automation tool cannot think, but in case of manual, the human beings are given the will use their intuition and you, they use their flexibility of uh, trying different routes while testing and trying to find more defects than what automation tool can do. Okay. So flexibility is more in case of manual, uh, but remaining all, all stuff here, you know, automation is uh, in lead, whereas in flexibility, manual is in lead. Okay. So hope okay, you got uh, all the differences between the manual testing and automation testing in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.